This is some footage of Jack playing his last game of the season. Recently, Jack mentioned that he wanted to get back into doing some gymnastics. As well as helping with his fitness, his main goal is to be able to do a round off, backflip, back somersault. So if he scores next season, he can do that as his celebration. Earlier this week, we managed to get into the gym and have a quick session to see where he's at with his gymnastics. This is how we got on. Right, we've got Jack here tonight at my home base, the gym in Nottingham. He's going to do, try and do some flips today. We're going to see what he's like. When was the last time you did gymnastics? What, flip? Yeah, like... When I was like 11. 11, so what, like 10, 11 years? That's 11 years. I forgot his age then. 22. 22, oh, so that is... <laughs> that's 10 years? No, it's not, it's 11. Um, so yeah, we're going to see what he can do, have a laugh, um, and hopefully he hurts himself when we get it on camera. Let's go. As you can see, Sam, these are classic footballing stretches. Right, you're going to do five dips. Walk all the way to the end. Turn around. Five dips. And then walk all the way back. That's pretty decent form. You're not going to walk. <laughs> All the gear, no idea. Definitely that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the dips are good though, I'm impressed with the dips. They can't be easy because you're carrying a bit of timber. <laughs> Come on, mate. <laughs> Right, how was that? Struggle, so not about. After you have to do the turn, it's just hard. It's like swimming, isn't it? All right, you've got to do that. Touch the wall, push off. Yeah, yeah, it's like the, what's it called, a tumble turn. Oh, I fucking know what it's called. <laughs> it's, it's the bit when you get to here, and then you've got to turn back around again. That's yeah. the hard bit. What do you like, it, what do you like with like chin-ups and that? Should we do some chin-ups? Do some chin-ups. Like that. Uh, I'd rather you do it over grip. Over grip. You're gonna do it the gymnastics way. Do you know what I mean? Oh, that's hard, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. See what you got. Sam, the cameraman, reckons twenty. <laughs> I think that's optimistic. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now you're going to go all the way to the bottom now, or you're going to do baby, baby ones. 11, 12, 13, come on. Look at that determination in the face. <laughs> if he gets to 20, Sam, I'll give you a tenement. <laughs> okay, Sam, so you've got five more. 16. <laughs> 17 <laughs> 18 oh, Come on, mate. No. <laughs> It's alright, you can drop off mate, just drop off 19 There's One more mate, go on <laughs> No chance, no chance Not a chance Ah, oh, fuck's sake <laughs> yes, mate. That's you, Linda. Ah, you bastard. How was that? You did pretty well, mate. Yeah, he lost. I lost a ten. I should have said. <laughs> should have told him to do real ones from the start, shouldn't I? That's well, not bad, though. To start from no, twenty decent. chin ups. That's all right. And it's measurable as well. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, I think that's pretty good, man. I know what it's time for now, though. Should I give you some key tips? Right, you wanna. Try and take as big a step as possible. Like, not too big, but you don't want to take really small steps. You get tired really quickly. 
because you'd just be tense in the bicep so much. So you want to like step like I'd say medium step. Um, yeah, like that. That'll be good. Oh, that's pretty good, mate. Don't use your legs, though. Don't use your legs. He's going for the top, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> but that was pretty good, man. I'm impressed. So all you gotta do for this, what you gotta focus on for this, you gotta keep your body like nice and tight, like that. Core stuff we're doing. Same thing, you just squeeze really tight, try and keep your arms straight. If you do 10 seconds, it was pretty good. Keep your arms straight. And then for rings, the most important thing is like keeping your rings turned out. So. <laughs> Go on, turn them out, turn them out. It's harder when you do that. <laughs> yeah, he's how it's done. This is how it's done, mate. So this is ja this is Jack. <laughs> to be fair though, these are quite shaky rings, so they they're not doing you any justice. They're making you a lot worse. The longer the wires, the harder it is to do stuff. So yeah, before you put we put you on the longest wires in the first session. Starting the deep end. I'll hold the ring and you try and straighten your arms. Feel that, that's what you're going to do. You squeeze your feet together, try and keep everything tight, and make yourself like this. More Oh, that's better! Should we go on the bar? Yeah. Right, so the end goal, what's the end goal on a high bar? It's to go around, yeah. right? Just to go around by yourself. It's called a giant. It sounds pretty fucking cool, doesn't it, really? This is my favourite apparatus. This is my baby. It's all about keeping tight, but it's about feeling... Uh, I call it the sag, right? So I say this to all the little kids and they like just laugh and think it's a joke. But what I really mean is like the hang at the bottom. So you've got to really like almost relax in this part of your shoulder because that's what, where you're going to get the momentum to kick around the bar. But you've got to keep really tight in your midsection lower body. Yeah, yeah. So you've got to think of it like, it's a weird one. It's almost being like a stick, but then the top of you is like nice and relaxed. So all I want you to do is get, hang, get in a hang position nice and tight and then all I want you to do is make a dish shape yeah and then an arch shape yeah so the, these are the two shapes so you've got to imagine like for you this is perfect because all you're going to imagine at the front of the swing eventually once we get close to doing giants is that you're going to dish arch and then kick a football dish arch dish arch dish arch and just let it hang like at the bottom so you get you're getting a swing already you see you're starting to swing already yeah. So now you just <laughs> look stupid. <laughs> hey! <laughs> so you're basically just going to try and dish arch kick and we're just going to see where you're at. You see how high you can get. So that's not bad, like you've not got a bad... Do you know what you can do on these bars actually? Because they're... Yeah, there you go. Yeah. I was going to say my thumbs up. Let me go. I don't even know if I can do a giant on here. I can take my rings off. If I get a blister now, I'm going to be really pissed off, actually. Yeah. That's really hard on a girl's bar. But that's really hard. We'll get you strapped in. Like This is just the first session. We'll strap him in next time. This is just the first session. But... That's pretty good, you know? That's quite good, mate. What rips you hands, doesn't it? Yeah, like it's hard on the girls' bar. Got his first, he's got his first, first little rip. Still up. It's only a little one. We're gonna try and do some circles on the mushroom. You should be all right with that. Yeah. What do you reckon? Yeah. It's only a little. You've only got to hold a hammer tomorrow at work, haven't you? That's why they call me Jack Hammer. So this is the mushroom. Everyone knows the pommel horse, that break dancey thing that them uh, two guys that are quite good at, Lewis and Max, do. Um, so basically, I just want to see you just try and just yeah. give it your, just try it. Give it everything. Just trial and error, see what happens. If you do 10 of these circles, I'll pay all your rent for a year. Well, That's how confident I am. Prepare myself. I've already lost <laughs> a tenner tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it won't happen. Go on, mate. Cause that's not bad, you know. Oh, that's not bad. 
But if you do two of them, mate, I can get if you can do two of them. Yeah. Yeah. This ain't just mate, getting around. This is impressive. This is quite oh. impressive. I wanted to see this. Oh. Mate, you can do a Maggie arm. <laughs> Oh, what? Oh. You just can't need your she legs on that corner, can you? Yeah, she's got that. That is impressive, though, that is. Oh, nearly. That's pretty good. I'd take that. You'd take that today. Yeah. Yeah. Decent, man. Until next time. So I play football, and I've always wanted for a celebration to a round I took back. So that's that's the goal. That's the goal. That's the end goal. That's what the goal is here. So, like, right? potentially in six months' time, you know, what, when's the next season start? Uh, July. Right, okay, so potentially yeah, like soon. six to nine months time, depending on how quickly he picks it up. And if I can score a goal. We could be looking back to this moment and then be like, I did it. And then we, me and Sam come along to watch you play a game and then we catch that moment. Imagine if he gets all the way there, he scores the goal and then he fucking slips and <laughs> Hands on his neck. Out for the rest Injured, of the yeah. But I mean, we got, let's find out what we're working with. We've got, see what, we've got to see what yeah. we were working with. Like, I give it a kind go. Of, kind of do one. You know so. what you're doing, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not bad, like, get over it. I don't know what you're doing with your head, but you want to keep your eyes focused on, like, this wall in. So, like, at the minute, I can't even, I, I get scared to do what you just do, like, just throwing your head over there. But you want to like, when you jump, just before you're about to go, you just want to get over, so you just throw your head like that. You got to try and keep your eye on that wall for as long as possible, so... And that was not very good, because as I was jumping, I realised I've got a bad ankle and I'm not supposed to be doing that. Right now. I was going to say, like... <laughs> All for the bus. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think like the actual somersault bit is probably going to be like the easiest bit, but getting the round off backflip and then a somersault, that's what's going to be tough. Like, right. that's where like the technique's going to come in. Right. Yeah. But I think for a first session, that's pretty good. We can work with that. We can definitely make that happen. Yeah. Yeah. I'm impressed, man. Good work. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and you're looking forward to watching Jack's gymnastics journey. Since we filmed this episode, my friend and teammate Ryan Evans sadly passed away. This episode is dedicated to him.